Hello there YouTube. So today I'm going to show you how to properly rig avatar models into Unity. Um, we're specifically working with Unreal Engine models. The game that we're dealing with is Dead by Daylight. Uh, that's a favorite of mine. So the program that you're going to need if you want to uh, rip models from any Unreal based game is a program called UModel. I'm going to assume that you already have it downloaded. Um, this is Gildor's homepage so you can download it and use it to rip the models from the game itself. Um, so I've already extracted the models that I want to use for the purpose of this video and the um, model that we're going to work with is the Trapper Apocalypse Cosmetic for the Trapper, or at least I call it the Apocalypse. I don't know if that's the name that's going to be given for it, but that's what I'm going to call it. So uh, I already have all the models, like I said, that we're going to work with. So what you're going to want to do is open up Blender. And that's also, I'm assuming that you have Unity and Blender both. So this is going to be part one of maybe three or four, uh, depending. Um, so this video and specifically is just going to show you how to rig the model with Blender so it's ready, uh, all ready to go so you can put it into Unity. All right, so we're going to import our model. So Unreal models use what is called PSK and PSA. Um, extensions. So PSK is just the skeleton in the mesh and PSA is just the animation file from Unreal Engine that is. So we're just going to use the models. I'm not going to show you how to uh, import animations from any Unreal game. Just going to use models for this instance of the video. Alright, so we're going to find our um, Trapper Apocalypse. Alright, so we uploaded the body. So rig's already there. Mesh is already there, but as you'll see, most um, Unreal models, I don't know quite why, but they uh, appear blocky when you import them. So to change that, you just hit it to smooth. And there you go. Now the mesh is smooth. Alright, so this model specifically, um, this Trapper actually comes with a mask, as all Trapper variants do. Um, so we're going to import the mask. And there we have it, there's the mask. And we're also going to set that to smooth. <clears throat> um, this also has a armature for whatever reason, I think just to rig it properly, but we're not going to use the armature for this mask. So we're going to bring the mask up to face level. Alright, let me see here. Alright, let's bring the mask back a little bit and fix the clipping. So we still have some clipping going on. Just fix that. Mm. So we got some clipping over here. All right, I'd say that's about pretty good. Um, let's just make sure that the nose isn't clipping. So I had issues with this mask actually clo uh, clipping with the nose. Okay, so it looks to be pretty good. Okay, so here's going to be the issue, though. We're going to have to rig this mask to actually um, be pa uh, weighted with the actual armature, um, specifically the bone, uh, head bone, because if we move our head, the mask is not attached to the head. So if you were to upload this model automatically without actually... Um, painting the mask to the bone, weight painting that is, uh, the anytime you move your head in VR chat, the, the mask is just going to sit in one uh, position and it's not going to move the armature. So what we have to do is we actually have to um, weight this mask with the head bone for it to just properly stay on um, the head. So to do that, um, we're going to select our, our bones here. And mind you, this is going to be a sloppy way of um, parenting um, the mesh with the bones. This is the only way that I've learned how to figure this out. Um, there's probably an easier way of doing this, but uh, I only learn usually one way and I just stick with it. So um, we're going to hit this into object mode. So we're going to select the mask and then we're going to select the bones, control P, with empty, glue, uh, empty groups. Select the mask um, and you want to go over to the vertices. Like I said, this is a very sloppy job of doing this, but you want to delete all these vertices. 
The reason why we assigned it with an empty group is so we at least can assign the mass to the actual armature of the body. But we don't need all these vertices, we just need the head vertices. So once this is all empty, we want to select the armature again. Hit pose mode, select the mask, and then we're going to go into weight paint. Uh, weight paint, there we go. Okay, so you want to select the head. Uh, so the radius, we're going to set that up pretty high. And as you'll see here, the mask is all red. And what the red means is that it's automatically set to that bone. So anytime that this head bone moves, the mask moves, or at least these vertices move with the bone. So uh, for instance, only those vertices that are red are moving with the head bone. Now we have to get all the vertices though, otherwise, um, yeah, that's going to look awful in game. So let's go ahead and make this whole mask red. Like I said, it's not just masks and, and things like that. You, any any object that you're trying to attach to an avatar, um, <coughs> this is probably the best method that you want to use. Alright, so we still miss some vertices. So what we're going to do is we're going to pose the head over here so we can get those vertices that we can't really necessarily see. And there we go. And if you want to reset the, um, the pose back to a T-pose, you select A twice and then hit Alt. G, and it resets the um, armature. And there you have it. So if we go into object mode, and we select our head here, now the head moves, or the mask moves with the head, and you won't have any problems like that any anymore. Okay, so we are almost done here. Um, let's see, so the next step that we have to do now is select our body here. And we're going to separate these by material. Each individual piece is textured differently. So what we can do is... Um, see, the reason why I do this, this might be a little sloppy, but the reason why I, I separate the meshes by a certain material is because I put cloth dynamics on uh, certain avatars. Uh, the pig, for instance, if you're familiar with Dead by Daylight, her, her cloth moves when you move like it is in the game. So in order for me to easily be able to, to add cloth dynamics is that her uh, skirt is on a separate mesh and I separate that mesh by material. Um, so it makes it easier for me to add those cloth dynamics. So what we're going to do, um, just for the sake of this video, is I'm going to show you how to do exactly just that. So we're going to go into edit mode on the mesh. We're going to hit P on the keyboard and we're going to go by material. And again, like I said, so these are a separate mesh. This is a separate mesh, and uh, obviously the mask is a separate mesh, but what I'm trying to do is the head is also a separate mesh. Okay, so <clears throat> um, that makes it a lot easier for me to also label certain things and maybe delete certain things in Unity if I don't need certain things, but um, most of these I'm going to actually need, though. That's the funny part. Okay, so we're also going to label these, though, before we get any further. So, just to make things easier in Unity. So we're going to name this uh, Trapper Apocalypse. I think I spelled that right. Uh, we're going to name this Armature. We're going to name this Mask. Uh, we're going to name this Head, because this looks like the Head. No, 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 sorry, this is the body. So, body. Uh, we're going to call these overalls. Uh, I guess accessory 01. I hope I spelled that right, too. Uh, accessory 02. Alright, and now this is the head. So, head. So all these meshes are now labeled properly, so it's easy to refer to them in Unity. And that's essentially it. You're pretty much all done. Uh, the model is now ready to be put imported into Unity. So let's rescale this model, though, so we um, don't have a giant avatar in Unity. All right, so hit A twice on the keyboard, and then hit shift click, uh, shift left click, that is, on the lamp and the camera, so we don't um, scale those down with it, because we need those as a marker for scaling. So we're just going to keep scaling it down. Um, I usually put it about 
half of the distance between this and the floor so he's about halfway uh, between this and that and that's how I usually scale my avatars and then I just delete the camera and the uh, lamp and there we go so what we have to do is we have to import this as an FBX because Unity only um, reads these uh, models as an FBX so export FBX uh, okay we're gonna label him trapper uh, apocalypse damn it there we go. And there we have it. Um, oh, well, I already had a Trapper Apocalypse one, so I'm just going to replace it. Export. And there you go. That's all you have to do for Blender. Now, in part two, I'm going to show you how to import them properly into Unity.